Is City Skylines 2 as bad as they say? Welcome back to another video, and I'm back 2024. <laughs> And why? And, and the way to kick off 2024 is to play City Skylines 2. Is it as bad as they say? So that's what we're going to find out in today's video. We're, we're going to see if it's bad. We're going to see if it's, it's good. I already know. I've played this game a lot. I like it. It's good. There's some things that are quite, you know. So I, I do want to uh, point out <laughs> that this game is... It's quite new, and I think it is in early development, so of course it's not going to be the best game on the planet, but we can give Paradox the benefit of the doubt. Let's just start with a new city, right? And my favorite city to go with is one of these ones. Uh, it's like the flat lap map, and um, I think it's this one. But I don't have any of the... Uh, I don't have the San Francisco DLC 2. I didn't buy it because I didn't really care too much about san francisco <laughs> and the dlc or anything so i was just like screw it i'm just gonna get the normal map so we're gonna go ahead and select this map right that's not our name shrekville's is the name <laughs> it's not even that funny well that's what it's called it's called shrekville and yeah that i don't have very I'm not good with names when it comes to things so i'll just we'll have to try to fix it as best as we can and we'll have to do some other stuff, but it's running pretty great. I do have to say, I, I, I do say so myself. I do say so myself. Um, by the way, if you guys have very first bought this game and it runs like shit, you gotta go into the settings. You gotta, you gotta play around with these here. You gotta play around with the settings and it should run better after you disable a couple things. There is a couple videos that I will tell you. So we already have some uh, this coming through. This is a little bit different, right? We only have a couple of things unlocked. So when it comes to the zoning, there's a lot. There's a lot more stuff. I've been watching people play the game, which made me want to buy the game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a grid instead. We'll we'll probably base it off of a grid somehow. I'll try to do the grid as like straight as possible, probably over here, and then I'll do the. I'll, I'll probably end up hooking up my power from here, which will probably be the best idea. Probably, probably be the best idea. So what we're gonna do is, like I said, we're gonna do, we're gonna go grid. Um, I watched the city planner do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make the same grid I did in, in the city I did, which would probably it's not gonna be very bad, right? So what I can do. So that's gonna be the start of our grid. We can go right at the top of the corner right here. We can go 112, exactly 90 degrees, which the the first grid's not gonna be, this isn't looking too good. It is a little bit crooked from that, but that should be good. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start that up. Um, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put some grids over here as well. Actually, we're gonna start a grid over here, same size. The reason being is because we want. All right, so I'm not I'm not the best city maker, everybody. So give me the benefit of the doubt. So we we want some. We, what we do is we when we get some electricity, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put a transformer right here so I can connect it to this. But right now we're not gonna do any of that. When I started playing this game for the first time, actually, if this is gonna be industrial, I kind of wanted to make it bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger. We're actually gonna go 112 um, by 176, I guess. It's not giving me any angles. Freaking give me angles, dog. And then I'll go ahead and um, fix that up over here as soon as we do that. So this is gonna be, this over here is going to be zoned for housing. This one over here is gonna be zoned for the uh, industrial part of things but we need to we need to get things going so we are also this is going to be like the main road which i'm going to build this up as best as i can so we're going to do for this freeform one and i'm going to go ahead and pretty much just probably go ahead and then i'm going to curve it wait and then we'll curve it again and we'll just do it like actually we'll curve it and then we'll curve it like that that would be pretty cool just like that three freaking quid I'm just playing but that's how that works out but i really don't like this street right here uh only for one reason it ain't it ain't great it ain't great 
So what we're going to do is we're going to delete some of this. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and build. Um, we're going to build a little thing here. So if I can, we're going to need the curve tool. Or we need to make like a circle that's going to be like, that's going to fit right here. Hang on. I got to fix this. <laughs> Look, it's not a perfect circle, but it will do. All right. It will freaking, it will freaking do. All right. Let me see. So, okay, we're gonna turn this off right here, learn this from another channel, and then we'll go ahead and do that. Perfect, right? We'll have this one go just right there, just so it matches. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. It'll do, it will do, it will do, it, it's, it's great, all right? It, it's my, my little city here, you know? It, it's unique. <laughs> Anyways. That's uh, going to let flow traffic to flow uh, when it gets inside the city instead of having a lot of traffic jams. It's going to make it a lot easier. You know, I really do say it is a lot more easier to build in this game. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect this with the roundabout here. It's not going to be a one way though. Uh, but I do want to give it a little bit of a curve so I might actually go ahead and just so they can get out and in from the industrial. And over here we have a grid that's going to hold the housing. I'm gonna go ahead and zone the housing right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some housing uh, in here. Not all of it, all around. Because once we get some housing, we're gonna need some industrial going. And the wind is going right in my favor. Kind of figured because I did play on this map before. So we're gonna go ahead and build some industrial right in the middle there. And we'll go ahead and get some commercial too. Actually, we'll get some commercial right on the side right here. And I think that looks okay. Now we just need water and electricity. So when it comes to electricity, I'm gonna go ahead and take it from the outer area. So we'll go ahead and just put that there. Should be connected. And if it's connected to a road, they got power. If it's connected to a road, they'll have water too. So, but I need to place a water station around. So from the roundabout here, I'm going to go ahead and just make a nice straight street right here. Just so I can put a nice little, you know, water pumping station down, you know, when it comes to sewage, we don't have the water pumping station. Actually, if anything, we have the sewage outlet. And we're just going to go ahead and connect it because that's what we need to do. So we're going to use the sewage pipe since they allow us to have extra pipes because this one needs to be connected. So we'll just connect it like that. Simple. Now you don't have to do... I love it this way. You don't have to do so much stupid stuff when it comes to like City Skylines. When it, was, when it came to City Skylines, uh, the first one, you had to place a big bunch of like um, pylons everywhere. Uh, you had to uh, uh, place a big bunch of piping everywhere. It didn't look good. Now everything is in the street as actually it is in real life. It is perfect. It's great. Also, when we get these little milestones, we can go ahead and open uh, up some development points, which is pretty cool. I like the way they did it this way too. Instead of just having to unlock it and do all this stuff, you uh, when you go ahead and get your milestones you unlock uh, some points right development points and you can go ahead and unlock it anything you need to unlock and it's actually really great it's really great makes it's really awesome and so yeah i don't know what the megalopolis one is um it's 671 so and so, oh by the way when it comes to it too as well it's not about your your population it's actually about just the points but it is also about your population too um once your population gets really happy they'll you'll start to get a lot of uh stuff going so it's actually really cool i love the way they did this one instead so we're gonna go ahead and zone some more for that don't want to overdo it because sometimes when i play city skylines i like to overdo it for some reason I have no idea why, but but I'm going to go ahead and zone these two middle ones for housing too, because housing is big. I don't know if it's a glitch, but sometimes housing will just continue to be in high demand. And I don't know uh, why it does that, but I think it's a glitch. Um, if I'm honestly, <laughs> if I'm honestly being 
10%. I think that's a glitch. I also think the high rent thing is a glitch too. Um, some people might know what I'm talking about if they played this game at all. Um, so yeah, some citizens will have high rent problems and it kind of does get irritating to say the least. I don't understand like why a lot of the citizens are having high rent problems. I really don't know the solution to fix it. If you guys know the solution to fix it, please let me know. Um, I'd be really grateful. Shrekville is looking great. <laughs> Shrekville is going to be the best city in existence. It's going to be the best, the best city in existence. Also, I have to ask the audience, how are you guys doing? How you guys been? It's been it's been quite some time since I've actually made a video. I did stream. You know, we're playing City Skylines too, and I've been wanting to play this game. I was hoping I was able to play it when it came out, but that wasn't the case. Not for me anyways, but you see when it doesn't want to do that, I usually just turn that little square off. And I should be able to get a precise reading. If not, then I'll just turn them all off and we'll do it by hand right at the oh that's 96 let me go ahead and fix that but yeah uh happy 2024 um things are looking somewhat okay we literally went from the first of this month to the middle of this month in like 40 seconds <laughs> or three minutes time flies anyways let's go ahead and zone some more housing on this end and see if that takes care of our demand for housing if it doesn't take it all then i'll go ahead and put some housing over here uh one i kind of like the way this is looking i kind of want to so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and sacrifice um this right here so what i'm going to do um i don't know if i want commercial so i'm going to actually dezone the commercial here i'll put some housing there instead i think this is actually going to look a little bit better than my actual city Ooh, I mean, I could use that, but then I don't know if I sh really should. So let me actually put some housing right here, and we'll fix the we'll fix the way that looks, just like like right now. That should be good to go. We'll get some housing there, and just uh, just um, for future reference, we're gonna go ahead and destroy these houses here, so they can be the main road. We want a little bit of a main road, Cherry Street. That's familiar. Anyways. These games are uh, are kind of quite boring to some people, but then I will say that I kind of enjoy these games. You know, listening to some music and and playing these games and, and stuff like that. It's kind of it's kind of a little bit of a vibe going on. Uh, so our 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 demand for housing is going up. So let's go ahead and do this whole side right here. See if that takes care of care of it. If it takes care of it, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're almost pretty much done. We only need uh, less than uh, 30, 20 more. So this is actually pretty cool. I like the way I made that. Um, I wish there was a little bit more stuff that you can just put inside your city instead of it being blank around in like these areas right here. But then again, this game is quite new. It's only a few months old. Yeah, I think there's definitely room for change in this in this in the sense of this uh, this game. Actually, it's actually going to be pretty cool to see how this game actually improves into the future i really really do hope it gets better but um it's not bad i will say we're running it at what tw 20 frames or not 20 frames a second it, i don't know on the recording it looks like it's 60 fps which it could be um most likely probably is but and sorry if i seem a little bit quiet in this video this is like one of my relaxing videos it is one of those videos where i get to where i can actually just sit there record relax play play a game I enjoy and it's usually because I'm usually like extremely exhausted from other stuff so tiny village look at that and look at it. we got 600,000 one point which kind of sucks but and then we got a rock mansion we don't have to put it down right now though but look at this we got uh we got a lot of stuff and then we can we got some we got one development point so there's some things we can spend it on and I think what we should do is we can get a crematorium but Oh, man, that could be a good idea because cemeteries are quite big. But since we got um, money, we're going to need to put medical stuff down. So I'm going to put a medical place down right here. 
which will give them little stars. And I think what I should do is I should put a cemetery down right actually next to the medical place. It wouldn't be too bad considering that I don't have to, I, I'm going to, it's going to break my, this grid, but maybe I can just build around it. I think it'd be great if I can do that. We unlocked three squares over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, buy these two and I'll put it down over here, which would be not too bad. And I'm going to put it down uh, long ways like this. It's so it's out of the way. And I think it's actually great on how I already built my grid right here because now wherever the, where is, so if I put, I can push I by the way. Okay, so we know the back is going to be right here, right? And maybe here, let me go ahead and I would like to place it before, but I'm just going to place a street down just so I know it's like, the landfills are pretty cool in this game. I actually like the way they work in this one. Um, but all we need to do is make a pretty small thing because, you know, we're not that big of a city. So that is about 496 tons of trash that we can throw away. That's great. And that's actually going to be kind of good. I like the way I like the way this came out. I like the way it looks. It's pretty cool. It actually looks a lot better than my... Oh, see, there's a, a freeze right there for some reason. We already have a demand for a different uh, density. And we kind of ran out of stuff here. So we're gonna go, I'm going to go ahead and make some more grids real quick. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place the Rock Mansion down. And I think the Rock Mansion will go down right here. Because I think it'd be great. Right by the water unfortunate water but i think the rock mansion I, th I think it's cool and look at that a nice little rock mansion rock musician mansion I, I keep saying rock rock musician what is this the three days grace anyways <laughs> um so yeah let's go ahead and build some more let's go ahead and, and expand the grids it was it was close um we'll keep it like that <laughs> I don't even know if I should keep it like that. I don't know if I should uh, do this and just kind of like build along like that. And just kind of keep it like that. Although it kind of seems kind of very terrible way to build way to build something. I'm going to have to figure out a way to probably... I'll probably keep that like that, but I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to change that. So as you can see, we do not have much of a demand anymore. Um... And they're not actually building too much. So I guess we don't really need too much zoned out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left just left click these two squares right here. I want to make sure I keep these here because they already built there. And I don't want them to kick them out. And obviously the commercial is already there. But we'll keep those like that just in case if the demand comes back up. They can build whenever they need to build. So... City Skylines is a little bit hard for me to pre-record because it takes freaking forever to build. But the moral of the story is, is City Skyline as good as it seems? Yeah, I like it. And, you know, that's just my opinion, right? I love the way they did the whole thing here. I love the way they did everything um, when it comes to even landscaping is not, like, paid anymore. It is kind of hard to, it is kind of hard to get into the green, but you could always go ahead and up your tax taxation and stuff. But right now, I don't have that unlocked. Actually, it's so much more better than City Skylines uh, One, only because of the way the pollution does not make the, uh, you know, the thing brown and make so much fog in one area it's i love how they did that instead of like the way they did it instead of like making it like overly foggy in one area it was terrible most people would use mods just to get rid of the uh, fog but i couldn't even find the perfect mod to do that but uh, city skylines 2 is phenomenal and i like it i don't know it's mixed it is a little bit mixed um there is a lot of things that could be fixed into the game other than just you know some stuff like uh probably as i start building the city over here i'll probably end up you know building the city and some of these houses will probably have like a uh, can't pay rent so what i'll do is i'll probably just uh most likely i'll probably just go and zone them for a higher zoning such as this one and that usually fixes the problem 
and things that you have to put into uh, consideration when you have like buildings like this or like this is that there's a lot of upgrades right so the upgrades for this you can see that it did that right and you can see that say if i wanted to upgrade the hospital there it adds a hitbox so you can place around the the building and you need it to leave the right amount of space for this so like say if i do this right here you can see that it it makes the back here right you can see that uh it has a temple that you can put you can put this thing here and you can put that there this also is this also will be applied to the schools the colleges the universities any any building that you can place down that is kind of like in this category you will be able to upgrade but yeah i definitely would like to I'd like to open up things and unlock stuff with you guys on this channel so if you guys want me to create more of this uh, city skylines too i will so yeah with that being said this has been city skylines 2 i love the game it's great it's just it reminds me of city skylines 1 but with a little bit of better things better graphics better just better everything all right and obviously the industrial is not annoying with that fog but with that being said this is the end of the video if you guys want to see more city skylines too let me know down in the comments below and subscribe and le uh, leave it a like it helps out the channel a lot and yeah with that being said i'll see you guys right in the next video peace i butchered the whole outro <laughs> but yeah let me know if you want to see this more